G'day everyone, it's Jerry here from Suckling and Fly Traps. A couple of days ago we had some wild weather. We had some wild blustery conditions coming out of the west. It was so strong those winds that they ended up toppling over some of the pitches of some of my plants as you can see right here. They look a little bit damaged don't they? It's important to provide some sort of a wind protection for your North American pitcher plants to prevent this from happening. Not only does it not look nice, but by having your pitchers toppled over like this, you're denying your plants vital nutrients. What do I mean by that? North American pitcher plants rely on gravity for insects to fall into the pitcher, and once they fall in, they can't get out. And eventually they digest and provide nutrients to the plant. By having your pitchers toppled over like this, insects can get in, and guess what? They can also get back out again. So it is worthwhile having your pitchers um, upright and providing that wind protection that they need. Not only will it look nice as I said, but it's for the health of your plant. There are a couple of things you can do to um, prevent this from happening. First thing is giving them plenty of light. North American pitcher plants like six or more hours of direct sunlight. By giving them that amount of sunlight, those pitchers will be nice and erect when they form. Second thing you can do in combination is provide a nice sheltered area from the breeze or from the wind. Sometimes, however, that's not enough. What can you do? Luckily, there is something that I have thought of which provides some sort of a solution, provides some sort of a wind protection for your plants, and uh, there'll be one less thing to worry about. So let's have a closer look. For this project, you'll need the following materials and tools. Secure one of the angle brackets with a pair of vice grips or similar. Position the angle bracket flat on a piece of wood and drill into one of the inside holes. Make sure that the wooden dowel fits snugly through the drilled hole. Cut out a section of double sided tape that is the same size and shape as one of the sides of the angle bracket. Place the double sided tape on the non drilled hole and remove the backing tape. Then add another similar size section of double sided tape. Wipe down where you want to stick on the angle bracket. Take the backing off and stick on the angle bracket hard up just under the top lip of the pot. Using another angle bracket, stick on just one section of double sided tape to the non drilled hole. Stick on the bottom bracket just under the top bracket as shown. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side of the pot. Holding the top bracket, carefully screw in the wooden dowel until it reaches the bottom hole. The two sections of wooden doweling should splay out like they do here. To measure the right length of tie wire, wrap the wire loosely around the plant including the two sections of wooden dowel. After cutting off the desired length of wire, form a hook with a pair of long nose pliers at one end. Attach the hook to the top of one of the wooden dowel pieces and secure with a pair of long nose pliers. Start by forming a circular shape with the wire. When the wire gets to the opposite wooden dowel, wrap the wire around the top part of the dowel. As you form the circular loop, lift up any loose leaves so the leaves are on the inside of the wire. Once you form a complete loop, 
tie off and cut off the wire. The finished product.